I didn't know what it was like to depend on the Lord for everything. And after Levi was born, I did. We had been married five years, and we felt like the Lord leading us to start a family. I just had such hopes of becoming a mom and really giving my baby over to the Lord. We started in January, and nothing happened. We were expecting to become pregnant right away. I felt like there was something wrong with my body. So I went to the doctor and got checked out, and they told me that I had cysts in my ovaries that was preventing pregnancy. It was just almost kind of like a, a no, you know, to, to having kids. Trent and I prayed about it a lot. We were just like, you know what, Lord, we're just gonna trust you in this. And so in September, I was starting to feel off, not like my normal. So I took a pregnancy test there at work and I was pregnant. There was this feeling of excitement, of getting the nursery ready. I remember that night, I was six months into my pregnancy. We had just found out that we were having a boy. And my coworker just gave me this big box of clothes to go through and just kind of folding them and just thinking how awesome to see my baby boy in these clothes. And I don't know, it was just embracing the, the feeling of being a mother. While I was folding those clothes, I, I felt this pain and tightening. And so we went on through the night and the tightening and the pain just wasn't going away. At that moment, I was like, this is not right. There's something wrong with my body. And so we went to the hospital and they said, your uh, cervix is dilating. We're gonna have to keep you here until you deliver. I was like, this cannot be because I'm six months pregnant. What is happening? It was just a whirlwind of a night that I had no control over. The doctor came in and said, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take Levi now. He's coming feet first. So I'm like, I just want my baby to be okay. My midwife was telling me, okay, you're not gonna hear Levi cry. He's 24 weeks at this time. And so he's, he's, gonna need help in breathing. And so Levi was born one pound, nine ounces. All I could do at that moment was focus on, okay, I have a baby and he's alive and I'm a mom. Okay, Levi, this is the first time that your mom ever got to hold you. So you love your mommy from the very beginning. Don't ever forget it. And they said, your baby's born at 24 weeks. The chances of him surviving are 50% at this moment. They did a brain ultrasound. The doctor, he went through the different stages of bleeding that can happen. And stage four is where the blood's seeping out onto the gray matter of the brain. And so he said the results of Levi's brain scan was a stage four on the right in the stage two on the left. And we couldn't, we couldn't process anything else. We were just praying. And Trent said, we can't be selfish, Angie. We can't just keep him alive just for our, ourselves. If it is not the Lord's will for him to, to continue on, we have to give him up. That We have to be okay with that. And so we did in that moment. We said, Lord, if this is not your will, we don't want to keep him breathing for selfish reasons. If it's your will to take him, then please take him. And we're just thankful to have this time with him. The Lord taught us throughout that time our utter need for him. I've stripped you down to nothing, to where you can look to nowhere else for answers or for control, you have to look to me. Just relying in his strength and um, his grace and his mercy, he made that journey possible for us. Six months after a long NICU journey, um, Levi was finally able to leave the hospital, discharged as in coming home with us. The Lord did not leave us he didn't say, okay, you're good to go. You got your baby. 
he knew that we would struggle still. This is what we're looking at, the possibility of Levi never being able to leave the house on his own, you know, it, that we will be taking care of him for the rest of our lives. In that moment, again, the Lord said, I'm with you guys. I will make you content in where Levi is, and I'm not done with Levi. I have a purpose for him. I'm gonna get glory from this. In the midst of all that uncertainty, we have seen Levi hit these milestones of crawling, of smiling, of taking his first few steps just the other day. <laughs> it began with surrendering our journey to him, and he's replaced all the fear and doubt that I could have had in surviving in my own strength. Because it, thriving is not surviving in our own strength, it is, it is surviving in his strength. That's what he has taught me the most in this, is that with his strength, we are able to see beyond ourselves to what he is doing in our lives.